is we're here on Yerba Buena Island right across the bay from San Francisco. And it's where we begin our two day ride along with one of our regional deputy administrators, David Cruz. He helps run the coastal region. Now, one thing you'll learn here today is that his job is best done face to face. We have an incredible amount of windshield time. We're always on the road. We are the road warriors, so to speak. And there's no place David Cruz would rather be. We are that constant, you know, building a relationship on behalf of the Governor's Office of Emergency Services. David's job as Deputy Administrator for the Cal OES Coastal Region puts him behind the wheel of his SUV nearly every day, traveling from Del Norte County in the north part of the state all the way to the bottom of Monterey County. You know, we're not exchanging business cards on the battlefield. They know, we, we know who our counterparts are, we know who our friends are, and we work with them really, really closely on and off the battlefield. The battlefield would be the scene of an emergency or major disaster. He meets with his local, state, and federal counterparts long before any disaster hits. He does it the old-fashioned way, face-to-face, -to, -face, to see how any response and recovery efforts are going, what they may need, and if any issues lay on the horizon. First stop today, Yerba Buena Island. This is United States Coast Guard Vessel Traffic Service, San Francisco. Cal OES is embedded here with the Coast Guard. Today, David checks on the progress of the mission to raise a barge that sank in the San Francisco Bay two months ago and came to rest atop the BART commuter train tunnel. Tonight, the raising begins. The crane cab section was finally raised last night. Next stop, a coffee shop. Meetings take place wherever and whenever possible. Today, he meets with Cal OES NGO coordinator Abby Browning. Barely enough time to finish a venti iced tea, and it's off to San Francisco PD. Inside the operations center, David checks in with the duty officer. Anything big transpiring now? It's still pretty no, quiet. It's knock on wood. <laughs> a much different situation from the last week or so when protests and massive fires broke out. Day two on our road to recovery with David Cruz takes us to Big Sur. The rebuilding of the Pfeiffer Canyon Bridge is making great progress. Winter storms damage the bridge beyond repair. Its closure along with Highway 1 here has isolated the community of Big Sur, creating significant hardships for residents. So Cal OES coordinated with Monterey County to help build a walking path around bridge construction. And that's where David conducts his next meeting. Hi, David. Hi, David. David gets an update on how helpful this trail has been, as well as this. A shuttle bus to take residents and visitors the two and a half miles from the road closure at the bridge to the resorts and restaurants on the other side of Big Sur. Both the shuttle and trails have helped, but bridge completion will be the key to the survival of these businesses. It's a ghost town. They have no access from the public, so they have no revenue. So David now meets with the owner of Nepenthe Restaurant, who's also president of the Big Sur Chamber of Commerce. Most of the businesses have been applying for the economic injury side. After nearly two hours of discussions with Kurt Gafil, David's day is complete. He's gained invaluable insight, and equally important, he's gotten candid, no-holds-barred feedback that will help Cal OES help them. This is information that I can provide back you know, to our leaders, and something uh, will come be positive out of that. So whatever happens at headquarters there in Sacramento or at any of the incident or unified commands, it all starts with the regional administrators and the emergency services coordinators, the ESCs, under their management.